But let's talk about football. And the AFL and the NRL weren't the only competitions to stage finals on the weekend. There were finals, including grand finals, all over the country at all different levels. And uh, one of the absolute highlights was the women's grand final in Victoria between Darabin and Diamond Creek, the premier women's football event in Australia. The match also made history with an all-female commentary team, including Charlo Curtis, who joins us now in the studio as our Aussie Rules analyst this morning. Charlo, thanks very much for coming in after a big day yesterday. It was a huge day of footy yesterday and a, a terrific day. The sun came out and uh, typical September finals action uh, in the VWFL. Now, I know they're always well attended and people always watch them, but I mean, this year seems like such a, a big breakthrough for, for women's football. It's the biggest... Uh, growth part of this industry with uh, girls and women more than ever playing football. Um, was it a great finale for, for such an important year? Yeah, look, it was a little... Look, unfortunately, we, we saw a, a bit of a, one, a lopsided occasion in the, in the main grand final yesterday, but I guess to cap off an amazing year, it really has been unprecedented. I've been involved in women's football now for about 20 years, and yeah. I, I can't remember a year like this one. And, and to have the AFL's uh, CEO come out and say, we will establish a national women's competition in 2017 has meant that a lot of things have really changed for us. So um, we had a terrific crowd there yesterday at Coburg at Piranha Park, um, a wonderful spectacle in both the Division One and the Premier Division games. And, uh, you know, we've seen a lot of uh, growth around the country in general and, and a lot of finals have in, around the country have enjoyed similar interest over the years. So uh, a fantastic result for the year. Tell us about this Darabin team. They won eight out of ten, I believe. Yeah, look, they're a tremendous unit. They're very well drilled. They're com uh, very committed uh, and they're very, they're very skillful. I mean, they've mm -hmm. recruited really well and they use the ball really well by foot, but they structure up it incredibly. They, they have great confidence and their offensive spread's phenomenal and really on your turnovers will absolutely smash you. So unfortunately for, for Diamond Creek yesterday, they weren't able to match it, but Darabin were just sensational. And what are you, what are you thinking might happen next year in the next two years as you build towards that uh, national competition? Uh, what are the areas of the game that you'd like to see uh, addressed or, or, or uh, building in the next couple of years? Yeah, look, certainly we're working really hard in Victoria on growing the number of, of girls playing the game, kids getting them involved in all girls groups at Auskick Centre, setting up under 12s, under 15s, under 18s for girls. We've had tremendous growth this year in Victoria, 63 new female teams in Victoria, mm. over 150 around the country. It's amazing, Just isn't Just phenomenal yeah. growth. And I can't remember a year where I've, ha where I've experienced having so many girls and footy clubs come to the game. Um, and it's just so exciting to say to these little girls that, you know, stick at our game because we're going to provide something for you that is unprecedented, something you've never, you know, never done before and perhaps only have ever been dreamt about. So we're really looking forward to what comes next and, and, and the wonderful thing is that we can provide for those dreams of those little girls. Terrific. Now, um, sorry to talk about something you, you might want to talk about this morning, but you're a Richmond supporter. Um, what yep. did you make of the, uh, the AFL finals over the weekend? Now we're talking about Melbourne not having a preliminary final. We're not talking about it. It's a reality. Melbourne won't have a prelim final. Well, look, I'm a really proud Victorian, so I'm a little bit disappointed to say that there's not going to be a Victorian-based um, prelim final. But certainly, look, I look disappointing with Richmond yesterday. And, and, and I think, you know, finals are, are hard to make and then they're hard to win, of course. And hopefully uh, Dimmer's boys come back with a bit more experience, a bit more resolve. But a wonderful result for, for the, uh, the North, North Melbourne unit. They're a great club and they yeah. do a lot of stuff, particularly actually in female footy. So I'm really pleased to see that North, um, that, that they've made it through. If Richmond had to lose to someone, well, you know, I'm not too disappointed that it's North. No, they were very impressive yesterday. And uh, an all, do you think it'll be an all-Perth grand final from what we've seen on the weekend? Fingers crossed it's not going to be, but look, I'd love to see North go all the way, but I don't know if they've got enough depth at the moment, and certainly the, the Fremantle and the Western uh, with the uh, West Coast Eagles units are both very, very strong and well-drilled, aren't they? Yeah, did you think that Hawthorne might be uh, uh, beaten that badly? I thought that was, a, that was a, a very unexpected result and a little bit disappointing, I have to say, because we've all grown to love what Hawthorne does on the field and, you know, it was almost like they didn't come to play. So, um, But I'm not taking anything away, anything away from their opposition. They were tremendous on the night. And at the risk of um, putting uh, some more uh, pain for Michael this morning, let's just talk briefly about the uh, Western Bulldogs versus the Adelaide team. What did you make of that? It was one of the games of the season. It was, it was. And, and look, a little bit of heartbreak for either team had they gone down. And look, Luke Beveridge has done a terrific job with uh, the Western Bulldogs. And how tremendous to see the, you know, the boys in the West getting up and, and having the season they've had. And they've had played such exciting footy. And when they get the footy out in the corridors, tremendous. But the work by Adelaide to get themselves going again after the mid-year, you know, what's happened mid-year has just been phenomenal. And, mm. and they're probably the emotional story of the season. And I think everyone's sort of on, on their wagon a little bit. Yeah, they'll take some beating, I think, next week as well. Uh, Charlotte, thanks so much for being our analyst this morning and well done yesterday in the grand final. We look forward to the future growth of women's football next year and beyond as well. No worries. Thanks for having me along. Thanks very much.